Hello and welcome back to Critic Uculus. We are on episode four, I believe now, of our Frank Reagan Nuzlocke series after patch 1.03 hit. Now, when we left off in the last episode, before I had a chance to save it, we had a couple of things pop up. First of all, we had the... Um, location reveal of two of the six bosses uh, within the game that's without us actually attacking anyone so <laughs> as you can see guys it really isn't that difficult to actually uncover the um the safe house location i'm a little bit disappointed really because i haven't done anything whatsoever um to reveal the location we've had no wars or interactions or anything whatsoever but yet you know we managed to get two out of the six bosses just passively um so that is done also malone is healed and he is ready for duty um so that's also absolutely brilliant for us too so we are going to go over to the safe house and go pick up malone uh, and then get on with the rest of the little playthrough that we are doing. It really didn't take too long for Malone to be healed and fixed and all ready and cushy bushy. Um, don't forget, go guys, if you enjoy this playthrough, if you enjoy what you're watching, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That way you uh, don't miss out on more episodes. There's also more playthroughs. I've done a Daniel Jackson playthrough. I believe that's the first playthrough I ever done. That's going back a little minute now. And I also done a Al Capone playthrough a little while ago as well. Of course, all that is before the big patch, the patch that we're currently playing now. Um, but maybe you want to see how the game used to play. I don't know. All right, so we are a team of three now. And we've actually got some decent cash on the hip as well. I'm not going to buy another gangster just yet. I don't think we need it. Um, let's have a little look. See, no, not Frank. We could give him the zip gun. There we go. Um, we give him the zip gun. Do we need any more meds on anyone? There we go again. So we're earning 1,200 quid every week, which is bloody brilliant, if you ask me. Um, so who is the first person that we can have a little pop at? I think we've still got a minor league to have a go at. Um, I think at the end of the last episode, there we go, we have got one. One left, that's it. And lucky for us, there is a taxi rank right next to them. Remember we said full Nuzlocke rules, meaning no fast traveling, unless you absolutely have to fast travel for wherever, for you know a particular reason. I believe the other rules are no primary weapons, no trading of any kind apart from black market goods. And I know there was another one, but I can't remember it at the top of my head. But we are playing with the Nuzlocke rules. So far, so good. Um... We haven't broken any of the rules, and it's going pretty well. Obviously, in episode two, however, uh, we actually lost two gangsters, meaning that we had to replace the gangsters. So, so far, we've actually hired um, actually hired five gangsters so far. All right. Well, he's bleeding. That's not good for him, is it? Uh, I'm going to skip these. That's a bloody cop. I'm glad I saw him, to be fair. Because I was literally about to skip my goes. Um, but if we get the doctor over here. Hands in the air. And we will pop biscuits over here too. Yep. Now, old Malone, he can finish off the gangster. Sure. All melee hits are awesome for us at the moment. Obviously, we got the trait 
in the last episode for Malone. Um, I'm really glad we got that. I'm surprised we hit that with a 45% chance. Let's do this. Um, but I'm pretty sure everyone currently needs the uh, the pistols. I think we're gonna have to look around for another good character to start using for the uh, for a melee as well. I'd like them all to have a melee. Obviously, I'm short melee weapons at the moment. Still at the beginning of this game, so you know there is a long way to go. Um, but yeah, we are a little bit short on melee weapons. Comply, citizen. Luckily, we do have the three blue pistols, though. That definitely helps things out a little bit. There we go, and another kill to boot on the melee. Actually, there was one more thing that I thought we could do. We can assign an advisor. So what I'm thinking is we actually assign Malone as the advisor. Roll, and it will be... The advisor role. And there we go. He is done and dusted. That is our first bit. We can't get an underboss for quite a while. Um, I wouldn't have Malone as my underboss. We'll get a decent person soon-ish. Um, but yeah, Malone would do for an advisor at the moment. I'm on it. Yeah. And let's take over the blue feather. Got a crit hit there, not bad. Moving. And we're going to take the free heal here on biscuits. Right away. And continue chipping away at the health. Now Malone can take the extra melee kill. Obviously, we want to level it up as much as we play can at the moment. At the moment, I think we're at an 85% chance um, to 87% chance to hit those shots on him, which is very good. It was a little bit of a grind in the last episode to actually get it there, though. We got £3,000 for taking them over there. That was a huge amount for us. Absolutely massive. Happy days. But they are wiped out. We done a little mission got completed. We're up to 1300 every week now. And we have got fifteen grand in the bank. Things are looking up. Okay, good question. Where do we want to start overtaking people? Now we've got we got buildings in every city. That's not necessarily a good thing. We got a safe house uh, right here uncovered. Um, we are gonna do remedy. Let's have a look in this city. Who've we got? Who have we got to trade with? There we go. So we have Wingmark. Now I'm pretty sure he has a special pistol. Frank Donovan has a rifle we can't use. I believe he has a melee weapon as his special. 
at a guess, the Silencer. It's probably the worst unique weapon you can get in a game. Salt has a sledgehammer. We don't know where his safe house is. Mabel, I believe, has the rifle. I think she has the sniper, but she also has... I think she has two. I think she has two. Let's have a little look-see. So, she does not have two. Nope, I'm on me. She does have two. She has 10 grand and a sniper rifle. And she also has the snake tooth. Um, I'm kind of tempted to have a go at her. Now, what color was she? Red. There we go. And we're pretty close to one of her buildings as well. So I think if we take this out and start a little war and see how we get on. Done and dusted. Now, I don't think that three people are going to be enough. Going to be honest, I don't think it's going to be enough to uh, take out a safe house. But I do need to start a war with somebody. And I need a good reason to start a war as well. And I think a unique weapon is a pretty good reason to start a war. Done. And a snake tooth really isn't a bad bloody weapon. Um, we have to break business arrangement. I didn't realize we were under a business arrangement, but we will break that now. And now we will declare war. Salt's apparently may. Oh, you want $50 and 99 barrels of swill. Form an alliance. War proceeds. Safe house. Brewery. Vada, 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 vada. Do I really need the help? At the moment, the benefit I see of having Salt's help is that she is going to be attacking Salt's as well. Meaning our businesses aren't going to be spammed. So possibly, yay. However, I believe this is a list of things he wants. So I think I'm also going to pass on that. Um, I think his demands are a little bit too high, gotcha. um, if I'm reading that correctly. However, okay. I do still want to go to war, so I think I'll do it on my jack. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see them wanting a little go-to. He wants pretty much exactly the same stuff, however. We're going to pass. We're going to pass. We're going to do it ourselves. We are going to go to war. Got him. See how many businesses it actually takes to reveal the safe house? Um, I don't think it would take many. But we'll have a look. Now remember, I'm actually trying not to pause the game. I'm trying not to do the uh, the massive jumping around, the fast traveling. Um, although they fixed fast traveling to rackets, you can still fast travel quite a bit. You know, there's still quite a lot of ground that can be made up because I think every single city's got two taxi ranks for one. Um, so it's still possible. To exploit a little bit. Oh, we missed that. I think after a couple more rackets, I do need to look at 
hiring a fourth, however. I think that would be a smart play. I'm going to take him out. That way there's one less gun actually on the map. One less person to do damage, you know. This is going to be a long war, so... Well, look at that. 33 damage and inflict bleeding. And we got $281. And of course, a speakeasy, we're up to 150 notoriety now. Now, that doesn't really matter for us. We're not using a boss. That's one of the uh, Nuzlocke rules. Um, we're just doing it with the gangsters themselves. We are going to do revenge, especially as we're a melee character. I don't actually see many melee characters within this game, however. I mean, I know thugs use melee, but I don't really remember seeing too many um, others using melee, char melee characters. Oh, this is where there's a lot of stuff. So, And we already have her safe house. For some reason, I thought we didn't have a safe house, but apparently we do. There are a couple of cops up there, so I'd rather avoid them for a moment. Um, there you go, there's a speakeasy just up here. If we cut through here, we can get this speakeasy on its own. Hopefully no coppers involved. Really do need to start paying better attention to the map when I'm actually initiating fights. Um, because uh, I have accidentally run into a few now. Hmm. 50% chance for Clyde to get hair trigger. 50% chance for him to get alcoholic. I'm going to go for it. Going to go for the toss. See what happens. He became an alcoholic. Well, that kind of sucks. But you know what? We've got a doctor. <laughs> We've got a doctor on the team anyway. So uh, I'm sure he will be cured of that. The hair trigger is an amazing trait. If you can get hair trigger, get hair trigger. I also like hiring... Um, Gangsters with hair trigger and Overwatch. Both traits to look out for. Very, very good. All right. Oh, one more shot and he would be dead. That sucks. He's stuck on three health. That's really annoying. He's actually going to get a go as well. Um, so he's going to do some damage. He done 23 damage. That's not bad. And he gets a heal. He got a shoe chill. Don't think I can do thirty six damage to be fair. All right. We've done thirty four damage, yeah. See, I didn't think we could. So they both get another go. Uh, let's get the kill, actually. I hear you. That animation messed up a little bit. And we 
we will go for the melee attack. It does the most damage, you know. I mean, it, it doesn't do as much as two pistol shots. Um, but with the chance to inflict bleed as well, it is pretty lethal, to be fair. But we need to reload. That's annoying. Only six shots without revolver. And we actually missed a shot with, uh, with the Doctor as well. Leaving him on 24 it means he gets another go. Um, which does suck. Luckily, he only is packing a pea shooter. And we got the kill. She's worried that he drinks too much. And now he is too... He's already sober. See, look at that. It was worth the toss. You know what I mean? I mean... We spent a minute walking around, if that. And already the doctor heals him up. I think that's pretty good going, personally. Looks like we got four gotcha. enemies here, so we're a little bit outnumbered. Shit. Moving in. Five. We have five enemies. Well, we are definitely outnumbered. Missing shots is not going to help, my friend. Shit. Missing two 65% chance shots. Oh, that sucks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the free heal on Clyde. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, there is a seventh. I did not see him back there. Down. Or six. There's a lot. Luckily, the meat hook doesn't actually hurt. I said that in, I think, the last episode. I really do think that the meat hook, if you're going to use it, it should actually do bloody damage. We've got a chance to take him out here if we get high hit. We did not get high enough here. Moving. Coming for you. Well, Clyde is going everywhere today, isn't he? Sixty percent chance to hit this shot. Thank you for hitting. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look. Well, these guys are going to start coming out now, which means they're going to start getting in places where they can actually attack me um, and start dealing some damage. They kind of faffed about for a little minute. They had the numbers advantage. Um, don't forget, I'm only running three pretty low-level gangsters. You know, they are kind of fresh. They're, they're only, what, maybe an hour in gameplay now. Um, so, yeah, they are very, very fresh. See if we can take out another one. And he is left with three health, which is really annoying. Biscuit's got the kill again. And the doctor gets to heal again. So we're going to heal herself. She's missing almost 40 health anyway. There we go. She goes straight back up. And... Hmm. Very low chance to actually hit anyone. Hmm. 
Overwatch missed as well. Slightly unlucky, but it's on pistols. They don't have... At the moment, we've got no traits on our weapons. Um, I think the only trait we do have is on the melee weapon. Obviously, with us being at war, it's going to change. We are going to get a little bit more. Um, where are we going to go? Let's go over here. I hear you. And we need a little reload. Only six bullets in this real gun. If we move her down here, we should be able to finish off the kill. There we go. Leaving. Now I believe they're down to three. Yeah, that rifle down there could be dangerous. If they have a melee attack again, I guess they were just behind the wall. That's why we can actually uh, shoot him. And he's down to 12 health, so the doctor will be able to finish him off. But before that, let's heal up biscuits for the free heal. This is why it's so valuable to have a doctor. And we got the kill as well. Now we're down to two. See if we can knock off the Overwatch. Which we failed to do twice. That's really unlucky. Lucky little miss there for us. And we can still do the melee as well. It's going to be biscuits in the cover because that one right at the back there has a rifle. And I definitely don't want to uh, allow her just to pop away. Uh, biscuits. I'm on it. Rifles can do a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, if it gets a crit hit as well, it's probably a big jump in damage difference. Done and dusted. Can do. Only a 50% chance to actually make that shot. So let's just run a little bit yep. closer. We're also going to get the doctor to run up closer too. Hey, let's do it. Malone should be able to finish uh, this one off himself. Yeah, there we go. 28 damage. A little bit more than what was needed. Can do. I'm on it. Mm. 
Uh, we're going to take the little hill. We're at 71. I'd like to try and hit another um, racket. I'd also like not to have too low a health. Can do. Oh, he's down to seven health. That's so annoying. Uh, let's see if we can finish him off with a, a random smack. And we missed. Yeah, I was reaching a little bit. I should have just run around the corner and popped him. Nice one, Biscuits. And we got ourselves another little vest. And a speakeasy. And we're doing pretty good. Um, no casualties. All good and golden. I do feel like you want a truce. That's not happening, unfortunately. Do feel like we need another gangster. But at the moment, we've got a real good tick over. So I'm tempted not to hire someone because of that simple reason. We've got a good tick over at the moment. Um, let's try for the casino. It looks like it's only got one guard on the outside, so it should be a pretty easy, straightforward fight. Maybe we'll waste enough time to get another, another tick over, get a couple more grand in the bank before we actually hire another gangster. There is, it looks like, three guards in range. And I think a police officer just ticked in as well. Got him. That was a nice hit. Um, where are we looking? 80% chance. And we got that. Try again. And we hit again. And get the doctor to repeat. And now we got two characters very low half. Get behind something now. Oh, she got us in the belly there. And he's looking for the heal. That was a huge heal. Take out that character and go for the melee. Oh, I believe we missed that actually. 70% chance. We missed twice. Tommy, mate, put your glasses on. Right, the cops in in play now, which isn't good for us. Um, really do need someone to actually make their shot. Four shots fired, all over seventy percent chance to actually hit that guy, and every single one failed. That is not good. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh well, Tommy, you're gonna have to actually hit a shot now, mate. There we go. We hit one. Get down on the ground. 
Oh, I need to heal the doctor. That's what I need to do. She's on one health. Whoosh, that was a little bit close. There you go, she's back up to 50 now, which isn't too bad. She's a tough cookie. She held in there. Right, that's one cop taken out. And we managed to get the melee as well. I was hoping he was still going to be in range, to be fair. See how useful the melee's gotten since we got that perk? It was just a pain in the ass to actually get the perk, you see. Just move out of the way slightly. He wants to heal too, so he's wasting a little bit of time. And we actually managed to inflict bleed. I think that's only on a 15% chance. I think we've got a 15% chance to knock back and a 15% chance to inflict bleed. There we go. She's looking a bit better now. And we can actually use the free heal on her as well. Right away. And now she's completely kushti. Assholes. Beautiful. And we got another kill with our melee. Well, that took a little bit longer than I expected. And as we are approaching our 40-minute episode mark, I think I'm going to leave it here, guys, because who knows what's going to happen inside here. Um, well, if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and to subscribe to the channel. If you've got any comments or thoughts yourselves, put it down below. Let me know if you're enjoying this playthrough or not or something that maybe you'd like me to see me do and try out new. Um, but guys, I've been a monk, we've been a Christy Coolis, and I will see you in the next episode real soon. I hope you keep enjoying. Catch you later. Oh, look at that. We found another safe house. Lovely jubbly. Looks like we can get Salt's hammer after all. Just in time too.